I am so excited for this Kishu. Or Robin, I didn't know. I was so impressed when I heard you guys sold out in under 30 seconds. I just have to say, that's pretty amazing that you guys were able to accomplish that so fast. Like, and you mentioned 17 seconds technically. Yeah, that was what absolutely amazing. Yeah, no, it was like it was only 30 yeah. seconds, the full collection. But then uh, Jenny from Bybit, uh, she gave us the exact uh, second, millisecond. So it was 14.22 seconds uh, for the whole collection. Uh, that's 2,222 pieces. Uh, <laughs> I got one myself. <laughs> I didn't expect it to, you know, kind of, you know, I'd say probably, I don't know, a few hours or five, six minutes. But, you know, 14 seconds, man. Gone in, you can't even say gone in 60 seconds. <laughs> so, yeah, it was an amazing um, and community, uh, everyone, pretty much everyone who. Uh, Minty, they, they, they really love it. The avatars, uh, they came out really, really good. Um, yeah, the only thing is, we're just waiting for the beta version. So, it won't be long. Uh, it's just around the corner. So, those of you who minted it, uh, you guys will have early access to Kishu Kingdom. I can't record it. That's amazing. And so, when does the actual game launch for you guys? So first, um, I think what we're going to do is, you know when the beta version comes out, we're going to leave it on the beta version for, for, for a little bit, just to see, you know, if there's any bugs or anything that we need, you know, need to change or see if everything properly, you know, everything is fully working. So, say, say for example, the game, uh, the beta version comes out, I don't know, like, 1st of July, for example, uh, we might have the beta version for the whole month uh, or a couple of months, you know what I mean? And then the game will follow. So again, it's about getting the game uh, perfect, you know what I mean? Like everything is pretty much top-notch before we have the worldwide release. And that's the way anybody should do it is those micro steps. I always talk about it in all my videos and stuff now, is the smaller the steps, the better you're doing because you're working on truly building it the proper way exactly this is this is one of our motors you know what i mean like pretty much everything uh we announced uh even even with the uh, avatars um there was no rush uh you know the team took time uh the artwork and all that kind of stuff it was checked thoroughly um and then yeah we you guys know so we wouldn't rush around um the important thing is you know, we, we deliver it regardless of the market conditions. Uh, a lot of people uh, tend to hold a lot of things for six, ten months. So they go dead, they don't work or anything for ten months. Then when the market goes green, they start dropping all the news and then people buy the top. <laughs> you know? So, you know, in any project we believe, uh, like obviously, you know, you got to build. you got to build regardless of the market conditions. I mean, if we're dropping stuff when the market is red, you, you can just see it like you know throughout like first quarter second quarter third and fourth there's always something so if we get rid of the news now we're looking for more news so you guys are going to expect more news so that's how you know we've got a lot of stuff coming so this is us this has always been us kishu and this is we've proved it for 13 months even last year when the market correct in summer we had like three exchange listings we had marketing event in london uh, Whatever's on our schedule, we're gonna bang it out. Definitely. That's one hundred percent, man. I like the way you guys are operating right now. You know, taking the time and building it up the right way. And and for the people that you know listening may not know, it's it's like this is the most opportunistic time to build up on the things you love the best, right? Like, and it's like if you know quality projects and they're they're putting out utility no matter what, like, and they're still working, that lets you know that the current market conditions doesn't affect the, 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 the team. If, if teams aren't building right now, it's because they needed the liquidity that was put in by the investors to build, you know? So if teams are putting out things right now, it just goes to show that you guys are already in place to be there for the long haul, right? So I like what you guys are do, uh, doing right now. And I did want to talk a little bit uh, uh, about the the significance of the average, I mean, about the significance of the NFTs and, and what made you guys choose the mystery box and go with Bybit? Yeah, very good question. Um, we decided with, with Bybit. I mean, it wasn't straightforward. I tell you that. Um, obviously, you guys know one and only Andy Leon. 
uh, we spoke uh, with our advisor, his advisor of the Kishu Inu token. Uh, we sat, we spoke, uh, we rejected many, many NFT marketplaces out there. Some, you know, might be existing partners as well. We're looking at, you know, companies that who is, you know, I don't know how to put it to words, but Bybit, when Bybit came, the, when we spoke to the team, uh, everything, Jenny, uh, pretty much the whole team, the way they were handling everything and how they handle the NFT projects on their platform is absolutely amazing. Like we've dealt with, you know, other partnerships just before who we, you know, uh, respectively uh, refused. Uh, it worked like this, and Bybit caught our attention, and we thought if it, if we're gonna do it, it's gonna be with Bybit definitely, and we went wrong, and it was a good choice, as you guys know, 14.2 sec seconds wipe out. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's the power of you know the community and Bybit combined. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of things about Bybit, amazing things. Um, also, we have uh, it's an ongoing partnership as well. Uh, pro maybe in the next couple of weeks, you know, two to four weeks. Uh, Kishu token will have a, a chance to be listed on the Bybit exchange. So this is going to be through a process where uh, it's called buy vote. So you guys will need KYC to go there uh, and vote for Kishu token. If we win by the votes, we will be listed within a few days. Um, so these are the things uh, we have uh, upcoming as well with Bybit. So there's, there, there was more it wasn't just the NFTs, you know, it was the Bible and there's a few other things as well coming up. So, a lot of things with Bybit, yeah, definitely. Definitely wanted to tease a little bit alpha there, you know. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, also, what made you guys go into mystery boxes? Did you feel like that would be the most fairest way to give things out for the community? Or what, what made you guys choose the mystery boxes for the release? Yeah, with the mystery box, I mean... Because, you know, the beta ver version is not out yet, and plus Bybit does mystery boxes, so when we spoke to them um, and we looked into the mystery box, we thought this, this will be the best way, as you just said, uh, Bybit, you can't see what you're minting. Uh, some people I know, uh, normally when they mint NFTs for beta loans, they don't even open it, or they can just trade it. So, say for example, Bybit, you minted one, um, you don't know if it's a rare one or a gold one, and, and, and you put, I don't know, 10, 20 X on the price. People might buy it because you haven't opened it. You don't know what's inside. You know, so it, it gives it a, a, a nice little kick. Also, you can't see, nice little kick, and it's like a surprise, and it, it, it's really, really good feature, uh, what Bybit has. So we thought, uh, we gotta do this, definitely, you know, and uh, see how it goes. Yeah, it's almost that element of surprise, like uh, gifting, like, you know, birthday gift or something like that. When you see something in a box, it just gives you that excitement, right? And uh, I, I've seen that in collections before where people, you know, get a mystery box, sell it, not know what's in there, and then somebody opens it and it's super rare or legendary, and then they're like, oh, my God, I can't believe I sold it for 3X, right? Like, and it's like, so it's, it's fun with the mystery box. I like I like the point of the mystery box. But, yeah, those are the two things I wanted to touch on because I thought it was really interesting, you know, um, co uh, connection with Bybit. And maybe a lot of people may not know what Bybit was before uh, that was in the community uh, and, and some of the things that they were able to offer and bring. But I think the partnership was a super, a super uh, strategic move on both behalves, you know, and, and – selling out the collection that fast kind of lets you know that it was and it assures that right so definitely a good job on that end I, i'm just going to mention to the people that are jumping up to to come up to talk we're probably going to give you the last 10 minutes or so to ask questions or or ask uh robin any anything that you might want to know i guess the next thing i'd like to know kishi to open the boxes or robin i'll just call you in between to open the boxes does it actually cost uh, some of your token to open it or not at that point yet because that would be an interesting uh, application to your token as well and a bit of a, a burn in a way I guess well you mean to reveal the NFT yeah 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 I think I mean me personally I haven't revealed mine and this is the first NFT I, I got as a mystery box <laughs> you know what I mean uh, no actually sorry this is the second one I did have one before and I don't normally open it and I told the community that I'm going to open it uh, on the beta launch. So right now, to uh, to reveal it, it's just you know you click and reveal it, um, straightforward. Oh, okay. So there's no cost to revealing. I know some projects actually do that, where there's an actual cost to open the box. I have one that I haven't opened 
that I'm probably going to sell before I open, to be honest with you. And it, I found that kind of interesting that they're using uh, that kind of setup to do that. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it's this, because we've not heard it, and you know, they've not mentioned anything either, and again, I haven't revealed mine yet, uh, so I don't know if I've got a gold one, or, I mean, there's only 26 in the collection, um, so, yeah, let's see. You mentioned about talking about rarities as well today, is that something that you kind of want to discuss, or do you want to leave that till a little bit later on? Um, I mean, we can we can discuss uh, some of the use cases, and then you know uh, we did tweet saying we do have a sixth rarity. I'm gonna touch on it. I'm not gonna reveal every single part of it. And it's not been mentioned anywhere. This is exclusive for Big One and Kishu uh, Twitter Space. So I'm gonna touch on this. But um, I just wanna first firstly say about our both collections. So as you guys know, Kishuverse uh, was our first collection. Eight 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 pieces. Uh, still available to mint uh, on kishuverse.kishu.com. Um, the Bybit collection, obviously it's sold, but not to worry. If you go on the secondary market, uh, it's getting traded as we speak. Um, so I just wanted to touch on some of the key roles um, the NFTs are going to play. So Kishuverse NFTs have already been turned into 3D. They're going to be live in the game which is absolutely amazing and then we got um, the avatars where a lot of features are going to be added in the in-game so this is uh, touching on experience boost um, your level will uh, quicker up because you got the avatar um, acquire more cards stronger heroes all that kind of stuff so it's like giving you stronger decks and an edge over the opponent you know what I mean? And there are some in-game currencies as well. So those details, uh, more close to beta launch, uh, will give you more specific details. So as you guys know, we have like uh, five rarities. And, you know, the, the, the first one, uh, you got N, which is normal. Second, R, which is rare. Uh, the third one is SR, super rare. And then you got SSR, super, super rare. And then SP special. So the hidden rarities are in the NFT layers. This is, I'm going to reveal, it's not been said anywhere, guys. So share it everywhere after this space. The six rarities are hidden in the NFT layers, such as accessories, accessory layers and some individual pieces. So this is throughout the collection. So there's two, 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 two pieces. You might see it on like 17, 1800 pieces. So I'm not going to reveal exactly what they're going to do, but I'll tell you, if you guys have a Kishu uh, Kingdom avatars, zoom in into your NFTs and you should see something, I wouldn't say unusual, but you'll start to see something. So the only two hints I'm going to give you is, number one is, you might see small hidden numbers somewhere on your NFTs, okay? And then... Uh, you might see some letters, like individual, single letter, like the alphabet. So these two things, you will find it somewhere on your NFTs. Um, what, uh, and we're going to tell you guys later what those letters and numbers are going to do. So this is something I haven't really seen anyone write on the main chat or tweet. So they are quite small, but it's there, guys, you know. And I'm surprised no one really noticed it. So this is the sixth rarity, and what and how we're going to use this, we will announce um, slightly later. Yeah. So what you're saying is nobody knows it yet, so it might be a good time. Oh, sorry, it might be a good time to go on OpenSea or something like that. Maybe peek through the ones that are for sale and see if you can't uh, grab one up at a really great price. Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's on open sea, and yeah, uh, as Scott said, you guys can check it out and stuff. And once you start noticing it, um, you will like you'll go throughout the whole collection, and then I leave it to you guys. Um, what do you think <laughs> those numbers and letters are there for? Um, it's really amazing, and we've not really seen this with uh, any NFT projects out there. Um, well, especially for like exactly like for what we're gonna do with it as well. Uh, so it's, it's, it's something unique uh, for the avatars. 
So definitely, guys, stay tuned and um, let us know after the show. Even like here, uh, tweet big one, tweet us on on, on the Kishu account or, or on our main chat. Let us know what letter and what numbers you got. Thank you. Well, that's amazing right there, Robin Hood. I like the way you guys are doing that. Kind of like in the open, but and, and, and like showing the rarity. But like, the, I'm like you. I'm surprised nobody caught it. You know, just being nosy and zooming around on their uh, on the back screen of their their NFTs. Uh, but that's super cool. I haven't actually heard that either uh, within the NFT space before. Um, but so, if if somebody's in here now and they haven't been in your space before, Robin Hood, and, and you had to go through uh, what Kishu Kingdom is and what what. Uh, uh, what what the beta is going to be about when it comes out? What would be your best way to describe that? Uh, you know, for, for a new listener. Right. So, um, I mean, say I say it in thirty seconds, okay? Kishu Kingdom official Kishu Inu t- token game, okay? T two E game, play to earn game. Um, amazing utilities. Both collections would be uh, are going to be used uh, in the game. And um, this is one of our, I don't know, like one of our best things we have uh, on the token as of date. Um, and it, it, this is something uh, which is very, very important, very important for the token. Uh, I just wanted to add this. Um, normally, when you guys go to meme coins, uh, you will see when you buy and sell the tokens, you get like a 10% tax or 5% tax and all that stuff, which helps the token. Uh, with Kishu, uh, there's no tax, okay? There's only 2% redistribution. So, you know, on, it's, 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 it's very important for a decentralized project uh, to, com- to, to have kind of, uh, you know, uh, to, to earn somewhere, you know, to, to keep the project going. So w- that's why a, a lot of money has been sent, uh, spent on the Kishu Kingdom game. Uh, so, you know, when it generates, uh, uh, well, let's see how it goes. Uh, it can get back into the token uh, for potential uh, exchange listings and marketing events and stuff like that. So, a lot of stuff uh, we have done uh, is really injecting back into the project um, uh, after developers are paid because it's a decentralized project and we've mentioned many times uh, anyone can build here uh, where Kishu gets uh, most of the percentage. And uh, the developers, uh, you know, you arrange it with the developers. So this is uh, what I want to touch on, the Kishu Kingdom, how important it is. Um, so, yeah. That was 36 seconds. No, I'm <laughs> 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 You know, I got to mess with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> and mess with you. But yeah, man, I think, um, Scott, if you don't got anything else, I think it will be a good time. If anybody got any questions right now, have some people come up. Uh, ask some questions and, and hear from the community, man. You know, it's all about the community. The community is really what, what as as much as, as Robin Hood and, and, and these guys are working and the team is working, we also got to remember you guys are, are what makes this community, uh, what makes this project really go around day by day is the community being here supporting while they build. Uh, so it's a two-way street. So uh, at this time, we're going to go ahead and open up the floor now. If you got any questions, just raise your hand and uh, the guys will bring you up. Yeah, the one thing I'm going to mention ahead of time, though, uh, you guys, no talking about price. Why is it down? Why is it up? Whatever, it doesn't matter. And uh, no uh, wind burn, uh, Robin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, please. This is, you know, the last last uh, four or five AMAs we had, that's the first question, uh, burns. So yeah. hopefully... <laughs> it's already burning, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best burn. This is the best opportunity, man, to, to yeah. really, really load yourself up uh, in comfortable positions and, and good projects, to tell you the truth. Yeah, definitely. Mm. I, I think we covered a lot of things, but we, we yeah. can, like, if we don't have any questions now, we can uh, talk about other things, uh, Kishu, Kishu stuff, upcoming stuff. Yeah, you guys definitely. Want. Yeah, it doesn't look like too many people are putting up their hands. We probably covered mm. stuff that they haven't heard before and they're interested in so if they come back again that's fine so tell us a little bit more about updates as to what you have incoming right so um so some of the things obviously the nfts avatars uh, was a successful launch so this is um something that is ticked off the list uh, the next thing we have is um upcoming again we just sorting dates out uh, with bybit exchange 
Uh, we have a meeting with them tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have, I, I think we're going to get the dates of when the buy vote is going to go live. So if, if we find out tomorrow, guys, stay tuned. Uh, we will tweet about it or, you know, you'll see it on the main chat. And um, yeah, all of us get together and go s <laughs> get ready for their buy vote. Uh, so this is our next, next drop, uh, the buy vote. Uh, again, depending depending on the date. Uh, also, recently as well, um, I'd say, uh, what day we on today? Thursday. Yeah, it was like Monday, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, we spoke to uh, some of the high tier exchanges uh, that we have open chat with, uh, <laughs> pretty much most of them. Um, and things are looking good. Uh, we've got another meeting um, next week. So, fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. And this is. You know, I, I don't. If I say top ten, you guys might guess, or top fifteen, or top five. So I'd say it's in the top ten um, right right now, even though the market's down. Uh, this exchange. So this is something. Uh, you know, as as we always say, uh, we're in talks and stuff like that. We thought we update you guys that we just had a meeting uh, and we've got another meeting next week. So fingers crossed, uh, everything goes well. I just want to say uh, to all the people. I think on every single space, people are asking about when list you know high tier exchange and stuff like that guys we are in talks with many of them no doubt many of them and they are observing and looking at every single one of us the community how you guys tweet the power of the community they, they, they're coming in our telegram they, they're like you know checking everything to see what we're about so you know you see these little little dips in the market don't be like, oh, you know, the market's dumped or whatever, you know, I might take 10 days or <laughs> two months break. We can't be doing this, guys, you know. For, for us, uh, being admins and moderators, uh, we're here pretty much every single day, you know, every single hour of the day. But for the community, it only takes 15, 20 minutes to make a difference on Twitter um, and, you know, just make some noise or, you know, create exposure every other day. So this I wanted to touch uh, is very important. Uh, the top tier, high, high tier exchanges, they're watching us every single day. So be nice guys and be strong. And uh, yeah, with the, with the power of the community, uh, we should see um, maybe some potential listings uh, in the coming months. So that's that. Um, I, have, I have another question, Robin. Go on. So, have you guys? I haven't. I haven't actually been to the website in a while because uh, you know I've been here for a long time. But have you guys? Uh, is there a new roadmap that you guys are planning on putting out either this year or in 2023? Or where are you guys on the current roadmap uh, for people who may not know or have seen your roadmap? Yeah, on the desktop version on, on Kishu Kishu dot com, uh, you see some of the things have been added. It's it's because like with Phase Five, before even we launched it, when you close for Phase Four. Uh, we did say, you know, phase five is going to be our surprise, so we're not really uh, going to, you know, like normally projects, they, they drop six, seven things and they tick it off. Uh, we're doing it one by one because with phase five, we didn't want it to keep, like, you know, if you look at other projects, they've got five things on phase four, five things on uh, phase five, and it's always five, 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 or six, six, six. We want to make it jump packed, you know what I mean, uh, in phase five. Uh, as we said, you know, Kishu is like a full-on established token now. We've passed the one-year mark. Uh, and we said last year was you know great. This year is going to be epic. So the things we want to add on phase five, some of the things are very time consuming. You know what I mean? And the things, uh, one of the main reasons is because we have open discussions with a lot of companies and businesses. Uh, you know, if we write it, imagine it doesn't happen. You know what I mean? So this is like say for example, um, we've got a partnership with a, a gaming company, and now we have five. Uh, we don't know which one's going to go through and which one's not, or even if it's going to go through, because we're trying to go for big things. You know what I mean? Same, uh, you know, we have a, a huge partnership coming with a very well-known, established one, which is absolutely going to melt faces. Uh, this is upcoming as well. Uh, these are the things. Uh, but, you know, say four or five months ago, uh, we weren't that close with them. You know what I mean? To, to build a friendship up and, you know, kind of partner with them. This is why phase five is like this. So you'll see uh, every few weeks or every other month, whenever we knock something out, uh, the devs will update uh, on the website. Yeah, man, I just, I just came over to the website and took a look, man. I haven't been here in a while, and this dude, the website is so, much, it's so, it's so nice now. It's very professional looking. So congratulations on that as well. Um, and then another thing I wanted to hit on, hit on real quick, uh, I guess, 
with Kishu is, um, is it gonna with Kishu is that gonna be something that's gonna be standalone as the inner like a as far as like the in game currency and then how is that gonna be applied with Tenchi or on that level? Um, what, um you're, you're about the game, yeah? I, I you're about the P two E side. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, so you know, there, there is uh, a few people asked us as well recently. You know, upon like more closer to beta launch, uh, we're going to give probably more details about uh, how the in game currencies are going to work and stuff. Because right now, where we are, we are very close for beta launch, and there are certain things uh, we're testing and trying. So it hasn't, um, I mean, the best way to put it is like it's not been fully confirmed uh, of which side we're going to take. So say we got option A, option B, and option C, uh, we're on that stage now, uh, just before the beta launch. So I think this question, uh, <laughs> probably slightly later, my brother. <laughs> you know, I'm always trying to get some alpha, man. I'm trying to help somebody out. <laughs> it might be too shy to go and ask their question, so I try to think it's a good hard one. Yeah. I mean, yesterday uh, we had a meeting um, with many, uh, as we do, and... Uh, they shared the screen as usual, and man, you know the, the the quality of the game is crisp. There ain't no these, you know, these blurred up, and you know, like you know how you see these. We call it the Basement Boy style graphic games. It's <laughs> nothing like this. Like, y'all know it's 2022. How y'all gonna yeah, man? How can you, yeah, man. How can you do that? You know, Sega Mega Drive. You know, we're not playing Sonic. Even the Sonic was, you know, one of our favorite games. But you know what I mean? It's so crystal crisp, and the colors. It's like uh, you know the cards and stuff. Uh, you know, just like say you know on the trailer, you can see you can see the board, yeah. And then just imagine before that, you got all the cards on your screen, even the colors around it, mate. It's like neon lights and stuff like that. It's absolutely crisp. Uh, so they were like uh, switching cards and picking the cards out, and how it pops out on the screen, and then you know all that kind of stuff. It's looking, man. I was like, wow. <laughs> so yeah, guys, it's looking amazing. Do you know what bit you guys are going with? Like, uh, what size? Like, would you be able to play this on your mobile device, or would it be like PC friendly, or how is that set going to be? Or can you talk about that? Yet? Um, no, uh, 50 50, half, half maybe. So, these are the things uh, we spoke yesterday about uh, versions on, like, you know, uh, say the Apple App Store and, uh, you know, other devices and stuff like that. So, you know, there is, um, it's not like it can't be, uh, you know, it has to be, in my opinion, you know what I mean? So, these are the things we kind of sorting out, and things like that take, you know, take a bit of time, and there's a lot of stuff uh, has to be done to the game uh, to have it on those kind of versions, uh, smaller screens, and well, you know, all that kind of stuff. So again, uh, this I think, uh, fingers crossed, um, we should see this um, probably on the official launch. I think. Yeah, because yeah. it, it takes like a super micro bit type of uh, uh, like people don't realize how much goes into just making a game small and put on a phone. And I just recently went through a little bit of like trying to understand it, and it's it's really crazy, man. Like it like it's little things that you might want to not change in your game, and if you don't, you actually can't be like it can't be a like a mobile version in right. Like and it's like wow. All right, so so, but I think you know I've seen I've seen some things where Apple was starting to like lenient, uh, be a little bit more lenient on type of games uh, that they allow on the phones, and it's been a little bit more they've been a little bit more crypto friendly, and possibly saying, hey, look, you know, we'll allow the game as long as you guys factor in some type of in-game uh, purchasing that you know allows us to you know take a little percentage, and that's how corporations work. So I, I think it's really cool. Like, uh, you know, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed if you guys can get it. Because when I think play to earn, I think, like you said, it's almost gotta be mobile, right? And that's what I think made Pokemon Go so uh, so fun is that people were be able to play it on the go, right? And that's how you got so many people involved. So uh, I love I love what you guys are doing with that end of it. And yeah, keep pushing, keep fighting for it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, um, you know, as you said, man, it, it's really important for us uh, this game and. Um, you know, all the things and effort, um, a lot of people, like, you know, myself, I'll be honest, you know, like, obviously, I, I, I've been in crypto since 2013, but, you know, when it comes to gaming and, you know, how uh, I'm there on a meeting and, you know, they're talking about all this stuff, this is quite new to me. Like, I'm not a game developer, but, you know, a lot of things I've learned, you know, from this Kishu Kingdom game I just want to touch on. So, you know, like, when we play a game, you know, we just go get, you know, I don't know, Xbox game or whatever, cartridge game, we bang it in, we press play, and, you know, we just playing, we enjoy the game and stuff, but even, you know, when you look at the background, and if you look at certain characters, man, when I see mainly, if there's certain things, I'll give you an example with Kishu, Kishiverse, when they were turning into 3D and for them to add it to the game, 
just alone in one day cost like eight thousand dollars you know of the hours and everything that they had to do just for certain characters you know what i mean and the background the colors and stuff the you know how they work this group of i think 47 plus people working on the kishu kingdom game and um, each person you know like on certain layers certain colors he passes on to him they test it together and all that kind of stuff and it's expensive gamers and you know the the rates and stuff they're not cheap you know i know just the other day i think in 10 days it cost 35k then 60k then 90k and these are bills all within a month and look how many months uh kishu kingdom's been uh under development and, and it still is you know what i mean so it is really, really we have beautiful products it's gonna be a yeah, man. it's super like I, I literally i've seen all these other games you know come out where they put out these uh demo videos right and they're like so elaborate they're gonna have this 3d it looks like a, a movie and you're like oh my god i'm so excited but like to really build that and maintain it like you just said bro it costs so much like it's so much money that like, that's why only the top like the playstations and, and and those guys put out those type of games because they have the money, they have the backing to do that kind of thing, right? Uh, it's not like we don't have the access to the tools to build it. It's just that those tools are very expensive, and the teams that build them are, are twice as expensive, right? So uh, it's like you said, it's a learning process, man. I, I love that you're going through it because, like you said, I haven't. I'm so like I'm so into my game, like far out of gaming. Like when you said Sonic, I heard the rings. Like I could hear myself getting rings. Like I kept hearing the little rings. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, yeah. So that's how that's how it was for me. So like now that I'm in the crypto and you're like I'm like all right, I want to get educated more into all these different sections that or sectors that I'm um you know potentially invested in. I want to make sure I have a little bit of back, background knowledge. And now that I'm getting a little bit of background knowledge, I'm learning that a lot of these projects that you know are potentially saying they're going to build this that, and they're super small projects. It's like yeah, you know, it's going to take you a long time because you're not going to have the capital that you think you're going to need to build this game. So I love the fact that you guys are honest, open. You always come out here. You're willing to talk to your community. That's one of the. That's one of the other key things that I think is on from the development end and from the uh, the ownership end. That is something that you guys do extremely well is communication. So keep the communication up with the community. I think that answers a lot of unwarranted questions, uh, and that's why you probably don't have people in here asking bizarre questions and things of that nature. So I, I love that about you guys as well. Yeah, thanks, man. Um, I mean, yeah, this, this this is the truth, man. We've always been honest uh, with the community, uh, whatever they ask, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, m myself, I, I'm just like you guys as well. I'm an investor. But, you know, I, I, I like issue and uh, a lot of things, uh, you know, obviously, we all with the community have done in the past 13 months and stuff. We want to be successful. We want to be there, you know, take the limelight and stuff like that. And a lot of people... Uh, when the market, you know, kind of does a correction and stuff, they lose belief and they go weak and stuff like that. But here we are, you know, the admins, uh, the moderators, we're still reading and we're still going to push as much as we can. Doesn't matter what happens to the market, we're still here. And this is the important part. And I just want to say again, guys, we've never lied to you guys. Um, every time, uh, whatever we say, even like I I've mentioned it to you guys before, that, you know, I'm, I'm a community moderator, you know. So I'm, gonna, I'm here for you guys, you know, so if I notice something that is not good, even from the developers, and I've told them before, I will open the voice chat and tell you guys, because I don't want to like lie to anyone or say anything which is not true. Um, you know, it's going to be straightforward from my side, uh, and it's always going to be like this. So this is how we've been rolling uh, with all the admins, whatever you guys hear from us, it's the absolute truth, and we don't mess about, you know, we're straight in to the point man um, and that's it this is this is what makes Kishi great guys you know um, you know you need a good honest team and all that kind of stuff how many times have you guys been in a token last year and the year before year before and you know they promised you the world you know in the first week first month three months later poof gone you know what I mean these are the things uh, you need to stay away from when they promise you the world we do stuff here together with the community we engage with you on AMAs, regardless of the market condition, is for a reason. Because we're looking at longevity, and this is, you know, uh, our aim, you know, from from the early days as well. So yeah. And the part the partnerships have been uh, slowly but surely coming in, and I think that like a lot of them have been, you know, uh, pretty like they kind of gone like silent in a sense. You know, like I didn't see a big rave about the body things. I don't think a lot of people know 
the the, 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 the uh, importance of uh, partnerships in, in this kind of market. Like if you go out and you form these partnerships, guys, this is going to be one of those things that's so um, like so nice, so so unbelievable. And here's another thing that I, I've been studying since the market's been down, right, is that uh, you look at these projects and you look at something like Kishi, right, and you look at potentially where people got invested in, right, and they, and you were at a, a stage right now where you could potentially get in before some of the big, uh, or earlier than where the, the wells or some of the uh, venture capitalists may have their bag at, right, and this is the beauty. A lot of the times in, in crypto, you're on, usually on the other end. You just keep seeing a chart going up, and you don't realize that the venture capital money's way before yours. So then you end up getting dumped on, and then you don't know why you didn't pull and things of that nature. But you're at a rare, you got a rare opportunity on your hands. So like, this is one of those things where I just get so excited about it. It's exciting times, man, and, and to see the team still working, building, communicating uh, out there every day, forming partnerships. Uh, you know, not backing down, coming out with things. Uh, keeping the community engaged, I, I just I think it's one of those. It's a good. It's a good formula. It's a good recipe. Yeah, definitely, man. We we try our best, man. Uh, talking about partnerships, seriously, you know, we have like I, I'll be honest with you guys as well. This is you know for the community. We always talk about what we have upcoming and stuff like that. I'm just gonna touch on how many things you know we 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 or you know look into or projects we talk to. So for example, this whole month. We refused around, wait one sec, eight partnerships, okay? This is how many we refused this month. Now, you guys might ask why? Because of safety, okay? These are the main things, a lot of uh, projects, they just partner, they just want that retweet and, you know, all that kind of stuff and, you know, they don't look at who they are, what they do, are they, you know, have they got the same vision, are they here to stay you know what I mean? All that kind of stuff we look into. And if we see anything shady, uh, we don't partner with them. Again, respect, respectively. You know what I mean? Uh, we just kind of um, just end, end the discussion. <laughs> and that's how, that's how it's going to be. So you can see even, you know, it's been like 13 months. We haven't even partnered with any tokens yet. No mean tokens or any other tokens. It, it's for a reason. It's not... You know, no one wants to partner with us. Believe me, a lot of tokens have come, businesses and, you know, companies. But, um, I, c I can touch on a few. Uh, there was a few exchanges, but they were nowhere to be seen on CoinMarketCap or Gecko. And, you know, the owners and the licensing and stuff like that. And we told them, please do not list us, you know, because it's not right to do so. There's a lot of things uh, wrong with this exchange so you know these are some of the things and there's other things with uh, crypto businesses and companies as well that we looked into and you know so these are the things uh, I just want why I'm mentioning this is because a lot of people keep asking when news when news but they don't see the dirty work that all these things you know probably nine things get refused but we spent the time on it days and weeks and meetings and calls you know and then we might one might go through because you know they're safe and they're nice and we want to partner with them so this is I think you know the whole community need to understand is you know you might see a couple of months no news whatever but believe me in these couple of months so many things are happening behind the scenes you guys are not even ready for it so you know, I just wanted to say this is this is how it is, guys. You know, um, we, we pick the best for you guys. Uh, whatever we apply to the token uh, or on Kishu, we make sure it's safe for you guys always. I see VC wants to come up. Uh, I can invite him really quick, and then I think from there we might end soon. Unless you got a lot to add, uh, Kishu. I th oh, he went down, so never mind. That was easy enough. That was quick. Uh, another good one that's in here, I don't know if you'd ever want to do it. They probably have your NFTs on their footprint, uh, footprint analytics. I'm actually going to be doing a space with them on, on Friday with another big, huge uh, play to earn uh, game uh, person here in the next little while. Andy's actually really excited about it, so uh, hopefully maybe sometime... Kishu could pop on Footprint Analytics. They're like an analytics place for NFTs and different things like that. I think it would be kind of cool. But otherwise, yeah, Kishu, I, I, Robin, I appreciate you coming in to the space and taking the time with us, as you always do. You always have as much time as we want. I think you could probably stay up here forever. You're used to that on, on your side, but I really do appreciate you taking the time with us today. It means a lot. 
Hey, nice Scott. one, Scott. You guys say, man, you know, we love your space. Um, you guys, um, you know, I think every Fridays, guys, check it out. Big One Space, amazing. You know, how you guys um, interact with pretty much all the communities and you guys are spreading positive energy and stuff like that. This is, you know, again, all of us, all our admins, we, we love that kind of stuff from you guys. So, you know, we're always here for you guys, man. Anytime, anything, Kishu is always here for you guys, man. So much love from us, believe me. So I just want to say thank you, man, for having us here as well. No problem. You actually took over our Friday space for today, being Thursday or whichever, but I appreciate you you making the time for us, and that was the thing. We wanted to change up the days for you guys because I feel it's important, you being a partner, a big one, to make sure that we get the word out there, that people see you guys and see what you're doing. So That's it. Yeah, man. Thank you. Um, so... Yeah, I, I, I think uh, Vibin's got an amazing show, man. Um, I think we'll, we'll have one soon uh, whenever we're ready and we've got more news and stuff like that. I think uh, we should have like a, a, a big one uh, back to back AMA once every quarter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, man. I'm down. If the, if, the news, if the news is that good all the time, man, why not, right? <laughs> it's got to yeah, be better yeah. than the news that comes on daily. <laughs> yeah, you know, like after, after the beta, yeah, um, let's see, you know, the partnerships we're working on uh, at that time. Trust me, Vibin Scott, you guys are going to love this. This is something else on a different level. No meme coins have even touched this. You know what I mean? So this is, I think, after beta version, yeah? So stay tuned, everyone. I'm watching. <laughs> I like that stay tuned. That stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> like, the burn is the beta, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's definitely not burned by him. No nah, burns. Nah, nah, nah. It's, it's the equivalent. It's the equivalent. When that beta comes out, it's going to be the equivalent. The utility is burned. It does it within the within its own. <laughs> utility <laughs> and community. Yeah. But uh, no, I appreciate you guys taking the time out, whether you're up here speaking or if you're down in the crowd listening, man. Always uh, good to talk to different communities and, and also talk to other projects and talk to the developers, talk to different team members, uh, just hear what they're doing, uh, especially during the, the, the market conditions that we're in right now. I think anybody would be quick to tell you now is the time that we potentially get to, you know, see the first bear market for some people who got in in, in 2019 or 2018 and, and it's just a, like it's a good time to really just like I said learn more about projects do your background research do your homework uh, jump into these spaces listen to Scott you know listen to myself listen to Robin anybody that you can get in that, that has a good vibe and a good positive energy I think it's good to be around so uh, I always say thank you guys for your time and, and other than that man I'm definitely I'm definitely going to go get some food <laughs> yeah I'm hungry hungry <laughs> All right, guys. Nice one, man. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Peace out. Take care. All right. See you guys later. Have a great one.